everyone, and welcome back to the History of Diving Museum. My name is Emily, and I am the Community Outreach Coordinator. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about Edmund Halley, as well as his take on the diving bell and his version of a diving helmet. Now, most people are more familiar with Halley because of the comet that is affectionately named after him that passes by the Earth about once every century or so. In addition to being really interested in astronomy, not astrology, he also wanted to know about things underwater. So he developed his own version of a diving bell, which have been around for several centuries, but he upgraded his. He would be able to take it down 40 to 50 feet underwater. It could house one to two people inside of it at, at the time. And as the diving bell would lower down in the water column, they would actually release barrels of air inside of it periodically. And this did two things. One, it replenished the air that was inside the diving bell, and it also increased the air pressure to keep the water at bay from coming up inside of it. Now, over the years, and he started developing this in 1690, so this isn't yesterday, this is a ways back, he actually improved his own design by adding benches to the inside. At the top, there is actually a glass window that would allow natural light in. He also used a barometer as a depth gauge so they could see how far down they were. And most importantly, he developed his own version of a dive helmet. It was made out of lead and it had two little eye holes and it had a glass covering so the diver could look out and see what was going on on the sea floor. It had an air hose hooked up to it that would go back to the diving bell where one of the gentlemen inside would have a set of bellows and he would pump furiously. And if you look over by the helmet, you can see those little yellow tabs glittering about to show how the air would have been supplied to the diver. And this is really neat because this was kind of the first, one of the first forms of underwater exploration and seeing what was going on under the sea. And this is all thanks to Edmund Halley. So this is your fun fact for the day. Next time you are at the museum, once we open again, we hope that you will take a seat inside of our diving bell and step back in time to see what it was like while Edmund Haley and his cohorts were exploring under the sea. We will see you next time.